Hello students, welcome once again to a series of videos on differential equation. We are back again with the videos and today I am going to explain to you a simple topic actually, not very difficult but important topic. Okay, All important topics are being done over here. That is called self self adjoint equation. self adjoint equation in this what is happening suppose you have coefficients suppose you have coefficients let's say a0 x comma a1 x comma a2 x comma okay in a differential equation suppose you have this these coefficients and the differential equation is given to us say a0 x y double dash plus a1 x y dash plus a2 x y equals to 0 if you have this and uh, they are continuous 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 in the interval they are continuous in the interval say x greater than equal to a less than equal to b all right and of course it's the same thing a0 x not equal to 0 if this happens on this interval okay then you see then the equation 1 this is 1 then the equation 1 can be transformed can be transformed into can be transformed into and can be transformed into equivalent equivalent self adjoint equation and how does the equation look let's do that with the yellow color this is how the equation looks r of x y dash okay plus p x y is equal to 0 where where r of x is given as e to the power integration of a1 x by a0 x dx okay and p of x is actually equal to a2 x by a0 x r of x okay so you must also note these three or yeah these three important notes so the first note a is that a0 x has a continuous has a continuous second order derivative has a continuous second order derivative in the b point of this is a1 x has a continuous first order derivative and C the last one that is a 2 x has uh, is continuous okay this, this does not have a continuous anything it, it itself is continuous is continuous in the interval 
or for all for all x belonging to a comma b all right students so what did we learn in this part we've learned about self adjoint equation what is its definition how the equation looks like the equation is here okay this is the equation all right and using this equation there are a few conditions as to how to solve this equation it's given over here okay and these important points you should know so that's it for this part of the video students we shall continue with this in the next part thank you for watching see you next time bye bye